Tehran says American officials must know that illusions do not have any place in nuclear talks with Iran. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Marzi Afram said Iran will resist excessive demands from the United States during the ongoing nuclear negotiations. Afram was responding to comments by U.S. Under Secretary of State Wendy Sherman. Sherman had said the Geneva nuclear deal with Tehran was not perfect, but that it rolled back Iran's nuclear program. Sherman also warned companies heading to Iran that the country is not open for business yet. Under the Geneva deal, Iran has agreed to limit its nuclear activities for six months in return for the lifting of illegal Western sanctions. The deal went into force on January 20th. For more on this, let's go to Irvine, California and talk to Professor Nader Bogharzadeh. Welcome, sir. Professor, why does Washington have illusions about Iran's nuclear program at a time when Iran has been crystal clear about its activities? So I think you're referring to the word illusion that uh, Mr. Zarif uh, used in the Davos meeting, uh, which I just finished watching. I think the notion of illusion is that uh, from the Iranian side, as Mr. Zarif uh, clearly pointed out, is that, that in the past, previous administrations had the illusion that they could pressure on Iran and they could get to the zero enrichment. And he basically clearly said, this illusion does not work. Look at what we have and so on. So I, I think, in my opinion, the, the people in the White House are very different from the past, and they are wanting to make this progress. And I think they're past that illusion from what Dr. Zarif mentioned in Davos, hence the agreement in November. Now, regarding the comments by Secretary Sherman, I think uh, one has to realize that um, the United States does not have any businesses with Iran, and the Europeans do. So they're very rushed to go and start businesses. And I think from that point of view, uh, Secretary Sherman is explaining that uh, from what has been uh, prepared in that agreement, uh, some of those businesses are not taking place. But I thought only oil-related businesses were not allowed. But uh, I'm not sure exactly what uh, Secretary Sherman is referring to. And also, I don't think Europeans will do anything to cross the United States. So perhaps her comments could be for certain uh, domestic consumption or international consumption for some of the allies. Of course, uh, what will happen if Washington breaks the Geneva deal? What can we expect from Iran? So I think uh, Dr. Zarif mentioned that in Davos, he's, he said the way things are going, if, if, if the agreement is um, not uh, honored by Washington, then they will go back and connect the 20 percent uh, pipes and start uh, enriching to 20 percent. I think he has mentioned that several times. That's the position. So uh, that's why these uh, sanctions were put in a way that they could be ratcheted back up to the before the agreement, and Iran can certainly connect the pipes, as Mr. Zarif have said several times, that it could take 24 hours to reconnect the pipes to get to 20 percent. I don't think both sides want to do that. If you, if you see what happened in Davos, I think there is a, he mentioned he had a very good meeting with uh, Mr. John Kerry. So my position is that uh, they're going to go forward and try to find a solution for the tough situation of the final agreement. As mentioned, dismantling is a, is a position that is, uh, is a rift between the United States and Iran. But maybe there are multiple solutions. As Dr. Zarif said, we should not look at one solution, but there might be multiple solutions to that particular point of concern. All right, Professor Nader Bogazadeh from Irvine, California. Thanks, Ithosa, sir.